Most flies are tiny. Whether it's the house fly trapped in your windowsill or the fruit flies living it up in your kitchen, they're usually small enough that we barely even notice them. But what if I told you there's a fly out there big enough and predatory enough to even hunt hummingbirds? Ever since starting my series of videos on robber flies, it's been my mission to go out into the Great Plains and track down this monster. But since it only lives for a single month, it's never worked with my schedule to go drive 5 hours in the middle of summer to do nothing but see a frickin' fly. But screw my dignity, I finally decided to throw away any semblance of a social life I had for the weekend to finally get one of these monsters in front of the camera. All right, guys, today we are out here in the Great Plains searching for what quite possibly might be my favorite insect in the world. We are searching for Microstylum morosum, the giant prairie robber fly, which is the largest fly in America. And I really hope we get to see one. This thing is an insane predator with a neurotoxic bite, and hopefully I can get my hands on one. So we got the net. We're going to be scouring this landscape hoping to snatch one up but these things are fast i was driving to this area and i saw a few and these things were booking it through the air i did not expect them to be that fast so worst case scenario we'll just get some hopefully close-up shots with the b-roll camera but best case scenario maybe i'll be able to hold one of these things and try not to get bit so i'm very much looking forward to it we're gonna head out into the prairie and see what we can get. The speed of these flies wasn't the only thing going against me. It was the heat. With a midday temperature of 104 degrees, the clock was ticking for me to catch a fly before it got too hot to form complete sentences in front of the camera. And as the sun beat down on me, I knew I only had about an hour left for me to film out here. But luckily, even though these flies were fast, when taking off, they'd sometimes get tangled in the tall grass, which gave me just the opportunity I needed to finally get my hands on this legendary insect. We did it. We freaking did it. Oh my gosh, we got ourselves the biggest robber fly. Nay, the biggest fly in America. Look at that monstrosity. That right there is Microstylum morosum, the biggest fly in America. And what a deadly predator, my lord. All right, we made peace, we had a little conversation, and now she can just chill on my hand. And let's just look at how long those front legs are. They're super sticky. I can feel like the Velcro-like hairs on there. And why they're so long and sticky is so they can snatch up anything that's flying around. These guys specialize in hunting flying prey. So whether it's a grasshopper, a cicada, a butterfly, or maybe even something like a hummingbird, this guy is gonna latch it up, wrap around it like a boa constrictor with those legs, and inject that super long, sharp proboscis into its prey. And this is one of the few insects that are actually venomous. It's not like some digestive fluid or something boring like that. It is straight up injecting neurotoxic venom into its prey, which is of course gonna immobilize it, completely compromise it, kinda, you know, it'll liquefy the insides as well, still has some of the good stuff, and just completely overpower that prey so it can have a nice, delicious meal. Now this is the brown color morph. There's also a black one, and I've seen a few of them fly around here, but let's just take a look at those gorgeous, like purple eyes mixed with the blue. Truly a beautiful insect, and you know, as long as you can look at insects and say they're beautiful in the first place. And how crazy is it that this thing is only alive for a month? And I can see why it chose this month in particular to do its hunting because there is so much prey here. I've seen so many grasshoppers, so many butterflies. This Great Plains habitat is so rich and it's perfect for a predator like this to terrify the living bejesus out of any insect that lives here. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, we don't, we not only have the caramel colored beauty we found before, but look at our snazzy jet black version. So I'm not specifically sure. I've seen them like mate here and it's always a dark colored black one and like a brown one. So I don't know if one's the male and one's not, but look at that guy, jet black, super, super cool. 
Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd for these flies. You know, what's crazy about these things, like I catch them in the net, you know, they try and fly away, and then I just grab them out, and they are just so chill, like hanging on my finger. I think they like having a high vantage point, and that's truly how they hunt. They want to be as high as possible, kind of scan the environment around them, and uh, look at that, like Spider-Man on my finger. He's, he's loving it. I really love these little guys. All right, the brown one I caught earlier is still over there, so I'm gonna see if I can have her her on this hand and this guy on this hand. Let's see if we can dual wield some uh, robber flies. That would make my entire trip. I am the Lord of the flies. Look at that. We got the brunette and the dark black one all on one hand. That is iconic. That is what I've been freaking wanting for so many years. Oh my goodness. To have two of the greatest insect predator possibly in the entire world on my hand that is the reason i made this channel thank you all so much for watching i am thrilled to finally have some time with these insects and just kind of be at one with them it's like the the kind of gross entomology version of snow white so i hope you all enjoyed there's a ton more insect stuff on my channel if you want to check it out and i'll be bringing to you some new stuff hopefully some insects you've never seen before and other animals so if you want to stay tuned be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thank you all so much for watching